next patron question is from D. An Associated Press article reported the self-immolation of a 38-year-old Iranian war veteran. I looked this up. Actually, he was the son of a veteran. Um, this public suicide is said to have been caused by economic hardship. What uh, can you tell us about the financial situation for the common citizen and what factors are at fault? Um, there's been several public suicides or economically motivated suicides within the past two years in Iran. Um, yeah. They get a fair amount of coverage. Um, people are really suffering. And a couple of attempted ones where, where it was stopped. Hmm. Yeah. I saw one in the factory when the guy was trying to set himself on fire and his friend just jumped on him and started crying. And he says, like, what do I do if I lose you? It was really sad. And That's they both make started me crying. so emotional right now. <laughs> no, oh. it was they both. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's getting really, really tough. And it's... Um, it's a mix of in, it's inflation, it's the sanctions, it's mostly mismanagement by the government, extreme mismanagement by the government. Um, you know, so it's a lot of corruption, a lot of corruption, right? Um, I don't, if I know, like a lot of people might want to blame the United States for the sanctions also, but. I would, it seems like the corruption and the mismanagement of the economy is a bigger deal right now on the situation. And yeah, it is like, guys, like the, the economy is like, it's like, the, if you look at the numbers and GDP per capita and the inflation, everything is like dropping like a rock in Iran. It's like extremely, like I, every time I look at the numbers, like my, you know, just my jaw just drops like how we spend time looking really. at the numbers together and i'm always like yeah what the in comparing them to other countries over time like yeah 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 so and get you know and it's very interesting because a lot of people think that um a lot of people even though the sanctions are um you know are being put upon the uh iran from the united states a lot of people blame the government for the sanctions, not necessarily the United States. You know what I mean? They're like, because it's a, it's their it's their government that is interested in doing all these terrorist attacks, you know, outside of its borders, um, meet, keep meddling in other countries, spending the money, um, spending taxpayer tax money on empire building outside of its borders, you know, for its um ideological you know animosity towards israel like trying to maintain like trying to build a shia empire in the region against the interests of its own citizens so people and also this whole the, the nuclear ambitions that uh, the islamic republic of iran has like a lot of iranian people are saying like there is no way that the benefit from the nuclear power would have been anything close to all the costs that we're paying for it like this is i mean just to be unless we should just be honest there's a lot of iranian people who support the nuclear power as well right like but it, they do that against their own interests like they don't understand so they don't understand what they're supporting but there are also a lot of iranian people are, who are asking like is this worth it like why are we doing this like there is no much there is no energy that we could get out of it. first of all it's very clear that this is not about peaceful energy right like the level of enrichment of uranium that is happening is not for anything other than um you know nuclear capabilities we have like audio recordings of from many years ago from Fakhri Zade and people that they were talking about putting nuclear um uh nuclear bombs on top of missiles like they were all, always interested in that so this whole talk about this being a peaceful thing is completely ridiculous right um and again they do they do all of these things knowing that these will invite economic hardships and isolation 
uh, on their people, right? Like, so this, this sanctions is something that the Islamic Republic of Iran has gifted up on its people. It's not like something that you could say like, oh, it's the U.S. fault, it's the U.S. fault. Um, and another thing is that the Islamic Republic of Iran, a lot of, there are, not all of it, but there are forces within it that welcome the sanctions because it increases their relevancy and their monopoly of things, right? Even now, when it comes to the nuclear deal, you can see that they they seem to be just buying for time. Like they don't seem to be interested in going to back to these deals. Right? You know what I mean? Like um, there are forces within the Islamic Republic of Iran that are competing with each other. Some some people want the sanctions to stay on, right? Um, but yeah, you wanted to say something? I can continue. Oh no, I was I was just thinking about I was having this conversation with this guy from Iran once and he was talking about how there is actually a fair amount of people who don't want the sanctions to be lifted because they profit so much off of the black market economy. Yeah, yeah. No, but um so I don't know how accurate these numbers are, but so I'm actually I'm not gonna give you any numbers because I don't know if I can trust them or not. But like, if you look at the amount of money, for example, that the Islamic Republic of Iran has lost over the way that they negotiated the how to cut up their gas, um, you know, gas from the Caspian Sea, right? I don't know how to say gas extractions from the Caspian Sea. How they negotiated that with Russia and all the other countries that neighbored that, they they the mismanagement and the negotiations that they, they did on that they have lost not billions of dollars over that but trillions of dollars right like the russians have officially came and said that they were surprised of how much iran let go of its own assets wow in that deal right so you know the Caspian Sea is supposed to be supposed to be fifty percent Iran's and fifty percent the former Soviet Union. Okay, this might be not you know I, maybe I'm if I remember this correctly. But given that the Soviet Union was like cut into pieces, right? Um, these other countries that are na neighboring the Caspian Sea, they're supposed to get a share as well, right? So they were in the negotiations of how to cut up the assets from the Caspian Sea. Uh, Iran came in like the russians would th thought would fit uh, thought that iran would argue for 50 percent and those other countries given that they were former soviet union countries they get the share from the 50 percent of the soviet union but iranians fir first proposals was that they get like something like 20 percent given what? that it has yeah given that it's supposed to be cut evenly somehow among all these countries and the russians were like oh okay <laughs> sure <laughs> they were like <laughs> so that was offer one yeah so they were shocked about how bad the iranian officials were in this and again i don't know how accurate these numbers are but based on some reports that like iranians lost um, around three trillion dollars more than three trillion dollars of assets you know there's no amount of sanctions that have cost the iranian government this much with bad negotiations. And there's so many examples of this, right? This is just one example, right? These people don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so again, I know, Qasem, is that, am I uh, re reporting this accurately? Because the first time I heard this, the first time I read about this, I couldn't believe that this is actually, like, this is like, we're talking about an ungodly crazy amount of money, okay? We're talking about, like, the United States spent two trillion dollars uh in afghanistan war like that's a lot of money for american but like americans are like that's a godly amount too much money. imagine how much how much money that is for the islamic republic of iran when when that's actually a big 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 amount of money for united states right like all that yeah anyways Gossam is saying, I should stop watching the Atheist Republic streams. Every time you talk about the Iran situation, I need to smoke. <laughs> Wait, actually, let me see if that, those numbers are accurate. Anyways, read some other comments. Gossam is also saying, the Islamic Republic can use solar panels in vast deserts of middle parts of Iran and meet the power needs. So much cheaper than billions of dollars, which has already been paid for nuclear energy. Parentheses, re nuclear bomb. 
Yeah, but I didn't what? Nuclear you know, which has been paid for nuclear energy. What was he said about did he was he dissing nuclear energy? No, he was saying their their supposed mm -hmm. programs for nuclear energy are for nuclear armament. Oh yes, yes, yes. That's what but it's guys, I don't want to diss nuclear energy. Like nuclear energy is like when it comes to clean power, like the fact that Germany has forgone a nuclear energy, like they, you know, whatever happened in Japan has cost the world a lot because we're gonna have, um, we're gonna the whole process of getting clean energy has slowed down so much because of people's aversion to nuclear out. power. Yeah, nuclear power is very, very important when it comes to like saving the environment. Okay, it's very important. However, it's not worth it for Iran. Okay, given that it's not a, it, it is a country that has you, you can't trust with nuclear energy, right? It's not a country that you can trust. And again, the cost associated with isolating yourself internationally by attempting to get no, nuclear energy far, far outweighs any benefit that you could have gotten from nuclear energy like it's obviously mm. not within the best interest of your of the people of iran this is it, this is completely about islamic republic's own uh, ambitions rather than anything that would benefit its people right so this whole process of ener nuclear energy being good or bad it's a different calculation in iran um it, it's good almost everywhere <laughs> But not in Iran, well, not almost everywhere, but in many places, it's, a, it's, it's the solution that we need to clean energy. But in Iran, it's a bad idea. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.